Hi now. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to write numbers in standard form. So standard form is a way of writing very small and very large numbers. And it's in the form of a multiplied by 10 to the b. Where a is a number between 1 and 9 inclusive. And b is a positive or negative power of 10. So we'll start with question a, where we have 3,400. So to write this in standard form, we're going to write 3.4, where the 3.4 is between 1 and 9, and now we need to multiply this by 1,000, because 3.4 times 1,000 makes 3,400. But now we need to write this 1,000 as a power of 10. Well, you can see, this is 3.4 times 10, and we can count the number of zeros, so 1, 2, 3, times 10 to the power of 3. So 3,400 is the same as 3.4 times 10 to the power of 3. And this is in ordinary form, and this is in standard form. Okay, so for question B, if we have 82,000, well, the 82 we would write as 8.2. And now we need to multiply this by 10,000. To get back to the 82,000, and the 10,000 is the same as 8.2 times 10 to the power of 4. And if you're not sure about this, we can just count the number of zeros again. Okay, so the question C, if we have 45.4, well, now we have 4.54, and we're going to multiply this now by 10. But to write it in standard form, we need a power of 10. So this would be just 4.54 times 10 to the power of 1. Okay, so do you want to try and write question D in standard form? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so for question D, we have 1,369,000. So to write it in standard form, we'll write this bit as 1.369 and we need to multiply this by a million which is six zeros so one two three four five six and in standard form we write this million at the power of 10 so we have 1.369 times 10 to the power of six okay so let's move on to question e to h where the numbers are less than one Okay, for question E, we have 0 0.04. And again, we have to keep it in the same format as A times 10 to the B. So this time, we need to make the 0.04 into 4. Because 4 is a value between 1 and 9. So now what do we need to multiply 4 by to get to 0 0.04? Well, this is 4 multiplied by 100. And at the power of 10, this would be 4 times 10 to the power of negative 2. We can look at this as a fraction as well. If we have 100, we have 1 over 100, which could be written as 1 over 10 squared, and the 1 over would be 10 to the negative, and then the negative 2. So 4 times 10 to the negative 2. And for question F, we have 0 0.560. Well, in actual fact, we don't need this 0 here. So we can just get rid of that. And this would now be 5.6, where again, 5.6 is your number between 1 and 9. And now we need to multiply it by 0.1, which is our power of 10. So that becomes 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 1. Okay, so do you want to try and work out questions G and H into standard form? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So for question G, we'll write this as 7.5 times 0 0.01, and this becomes 7.5 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Okay, for question H, we have 3 over 500. Now this is a bit more tricky, but we need to think about why it's tricky. And this is because the 500 isn't as a power of 10. But we can easily write this fraction as a fraction over 1,000 
by multiplying the denominator by 2. And to keep it equivalent, we do the same to our numerator. So now we have 3 times 2, which is 6. And 6 over 1,000 is the same as 6 over 10 to the 3. And when it's over 10 to the 3, we can write this as 6 times 10 to the power of the negative 3. Okay, let's move on to some more questions. Okay, so now we have four questions which are not quite written in standard form, although they might appear to be at first glance, because we have a number multiplied by 10 raised to a power giving us b. But the number we have here is not between 1 and 9. So if we look at question a, we have 52.1 times 10 to the power of 4. Well, the 52.1 needs to be written as 5.21. But to do this, we need to divide this by 10. Because 52.1 divided by 10 makes 5.21. And now to keep the number balanced, we're going to add a power of 10 to this bit. When we do this, we have 10 to the 4 multiplied by 10, or 10 to the 1, and we can add these two powers, so we get 5.21 times 10 to the power of 5. And the question B, we have 0.4 times 10 to the power of 5. Well, now the 0.4 needs to be increased by a power of 10 to make it 4. When we increase this by a power of 10, we need to decrease this bit by a power. So we divide it by 10. So this becomes 10 to the 5 divided by 10, which is 10 to the 4. So we have 4 multiplied by 10 to the 4. OK, so do you want to try and write question C and D in correct standard form? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So for question C, we need to write 125 as a number between 1 and 9. So this will be 1.25. So now to do this, we had to divide this by 100, which means we need to multiply this side by 100. So we're adding two more tens to the 6. So 1.25 times 10 to the 8. And for question D, we're going to write this as 1, which means we're going to multiply this by 100. So we'll decrease 10 to the 9 by 2 powers of 10. So that becomes 1 times 10 to the 7. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.